at the gym. Also brought by the cure Los Cazadores. Dine in or take out for the best authentic mix fit around. It's Los Cazadores, 2805 Wheaton Way in East Bremerton. Well, tonight's um, shooting it by 18, going into the fourth quarter play. Just when they think uh, they were going to make an impact to come back, here was the Lake Stevens Vikings. We just kind of stick out the stiff arm the nights away, if you will. And it looks like Coach Davis has um, put all the starters on the bench. He's, uh, Beats will hand off, going into the lane, hanging in the air, and missing the shot. Kyle Brown. Kyle Brown and Devontae Johnson. No, oh. Hey, there's a good shot by Pete. who drains the shot and hits. It's taking three of the of the half. No worries. 59 to 44 after the triple by Pete. 7.34 to go in the contest. Going left, going right is Iman. And I am in scores, 61 to 44, back to a 17 point lead. Pete goes in, right hand floater, too short. Springing up as Redford to yank down the rebound. Quickly in the front court to Wyman in the baseline. Traversed on by Anderson and Klega. Hands off in the paint for a five footer by Hunter. Can't get that one to fall. Dallas Anderson. Goes in the lane, misses the shot, leaves a short up the front rim. There's a nice pass underneath, and Makai Henry couldn't get that one to, to drop after a nice pass by Gosser. Clayton comes back to the way too strong off the window. Rebound pulled down by McFerrin. On the run, going in, and gets a defense to Makai Henry who scores. Hangs in the air, uses his body, and scores against the Brim tonight's defense. Knocked up to a 19 point lead for the Lake Stephen Vikings. Picks with the basketball near angle, heads off to Anderson, drives to the free throw line, and we have a moving screen called against the Bermuda Knights. Against Ungren. Gets his first foul of the uh, evening. Heard from the uh, JV squad over there. You, you, you can't do that. 63 to 44. Dave Hinch on the video. Awesome job as always. Jim Fortune off my right. Awesome job as always. K Mac here. Well, you know. Do what I can. The pass inside deflected away by the Knights and a walk on the play by Mackay Hunter. Good defense by Bremerton. But like we were talking about Jim earlier, it just seems like every time the Knights will even make it, try to make a run. Uh, now they have a bunch of reserves in the contest. Just the, the Lake Stevens Vikings just stiff arms the Knights away and then builds up their lead. And there's another steal, almost a steal by Iman, and then tripped up on the play by the. Did he call him for a foul? Yeah, they called Iman for a foul. <laughs> Good, uh, good defense nonetheless. Uh, almost like a little mini pass interference call. He comes in with the pass, is getting to on top of the key, and then he's there just a little bit too early. Thank you. will get off the ball off the pick, hand off the Brown. Pete walks with it, but doesn't get called. Goes into the lane, as well jabbed away, stolen away by, by Gosser. Here he comes. Big Stevens on the run. Adams swings it near side to Iman, who eyes a three, and he's a short. Ball volleyed around. And who's got it? It's tapped out to Brown. Goes up and can't get the lane in the fall. Redford will yank down the rebound. Little things up and come across half court. Redford on, on top. Finally gives it up to Goss in your angle. Drives up to the top of the circle. Now back to Redford. Drives into the free throw line. Spins around. Hands. Reaching in from everywhere, finally poked the ball loose. Brown comes up with it, hands off to Pete. Drives in on the run. 
hangs in the air and he's fouled on the play. Is not going straight up with the arms, got the over, over the net type of thing he would do in volleyball. If you know volleyball. He's got lucky on that. He's, once again, they drive one on five into the key, expecting him, you know, and fortunately this time Pete's got the foul, but if he hadn't got the foul, the ball wasn't even going to get to the rim. First free throw, good. You've got five weapons out there, not one. You do shared the basketball well today. Whereas the Germans and Wildcats. Impressive. Well, they have been because there's a bunch of 8th graders playing against um, the baseball players. As you know, they say they're really They look small. Yeah. It, I'm wondering if uh, the, uh, the Fan Five had their manhood hurt a little bit today with uh, being beat by a bunch of 8th graders. Well, well, I, did hear, um, I did hear one of the, one of the Fab Five Bainbridge players come down with their defense to make that statement. They're 8th graders. But it's a group of 8th graders that can play, so it's not good. And shared the ball well. He distributed the basketball around really well. Played with the basketball near baseline. Had to get it out on top to Tucker. The ball's going away. Going up coast to coast. Bring it in. And Easton Goster, his first two points of the evening. 65 to 45. And the lead is now built to 20 with 4.25 to go here in the, the fourth quarter play at Les Heathorn Gym. Peace. Working against the defense of Easton Gosser. Beats. Hesitation move. Now drives in. And can't convert to Lane Anderson to pull down the off the rebound. Goes up, thinking that one to fall. Rebound pulled down into play. And a loose ball foul called on Anderson as he pushes Lyman after he gets the, the defensive rebound. No, it's unusual. Next, I'm looking forward to the next season because. Um, at least four of those eighth graders are going to play varsity. They're just that skilled. And, uh, I'm anticipating that Bremerton will be at least a minimum of 500 this year in the Olympic League. Um, and, um, so, and, then, and by their sophomore year, we'll be contending. Um, you know, they'll have a hard time beating North Kitsap and Port Angeles. But you got to realize that Brown, number 21, he's, he's a freshman. He, he played with those guys last year. So Drive again using the window and hitting as Easton Gosser. Four points for Gosser. 67 to 45. 22 point bulge for Lake Stevens. And so what you're saying is, is do we have a whole lot of more freshmen on this team next year? And then oh yeah, and that's a very extremely unusual, but Tucker up for a shot. It's his own rebound. Accosted by Adams. But finally get it out on top of Brown. Sweet to the piece near Ringo for three. Air ball. Gosser was. The rebound, outlet pass, down deep, and it goes into the hands of Predator as the ball jabbed away and out of bounds on the baseline. No, the, that's, that's got the eighth graders down there playing in the um, in the boys city league. Um, the um, just because it's bigger, stronger boys, and uh, they're in first place against it, so it just gives you an idea of the kind of talent that um, in today's game, um, Jalen Davis wasn't there, um, who's the kind of glue for that team. Um, Kelly Hunter will score. No, you, I mean, you, have you seen Jalen play yet? No, I have not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the last time we against Bainbridge, the same boys, he had a 20-20 game, which is very, very unusual. 20 points, 20 rebounds. The future is bright for Germanton. Tucker elevating for a long shot. Can't get down the ball. And it's a good rebound. Get up the future. Holdings his way in and gets the score and fouls. Gets fouled on the play. That's going to be Logan Case uh, in now uh, for Lake Stevens getting whistled for the foul to the perplexed Alex Iverson, the head coach of Lake Stevens. He will be at the free throw line, shooting one, attempting to nail down the three point play for the Bermuda tonight. 69 to 47 is your score. Can't convert the free throw, but Turk will get the offensive rebound. Back and out. Drives in against the defense of McKay Hunter. Goes extra 17, with 100 blocks a shot. On the run, here's Bossy. In the front court, swings it out to the far side to Gosser. He puts his head down, but a timeout called on the play by Alex Iverson, the head coach of the, the Lake Stevens Vikings. He's the Vikings on top by 22. 
here in the game. And boy, Marshall Adams has had himself a great game. 3, 5, 7, 9, 10, 12, 14, 16. I'm in as well. 6, 8, 11, 13, 14, 17, 19 points for Iman. McFerrin has chipped in 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 points for him. So those three have been big for Lake Stevens here in this game. Here's Gosser driving in, kicks out for three. No good by Case. Rebound pulled down by Brian Spryce of the Weavers in the ball game now. Double team better nice, trying to get to the hands of Bossy. Swings it back out on top to Brody Pierpoint. Who goes in, can't convert the, the, the lane, but he's fouled on the play. He'll be shooting too. Yes, 31 is uh, David Cleggett with the foul. And uh, Brody Pierpoint, 6'1 freshman at the free throw line, trying to get in the scorebook, Jimmy. <laughs> no, he just wanted to be in the scorebook. Devon say, well, that's not Devon. Is it Ung Ungren, number 20, you said? Ungren? Yeah, Ungren. Yeah, Next free throw. Hey, you got it. Is he uh, ineligible? And maybe one was be a teammate or go play basketball. Would that be maybe part of the conversation? Um, I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> I'm trying to read between the lines, but it seems like that's been going through the locker room this year at Bremerton High School, for at least for the Bremerton Knights this year. We have seen Sellers uh, not play. We've seen Tucker not play. We've, um, Every team that I've seen Devontae play for, he's never finished out the season. Yeah. And uh, what grade is he? I didn't mean that about looking. Oh, he's a senior. Yeah. He's I mean, got some skills. And uh, you think, um, uh, you know, then you're being a young man, you have to kind of figure things out. Here's that uh, Bowman for three. Got it. Do you think so, but 70 to 50 as Bomer hits the, the triple. And we have a timeout. A full timeout. This time they would say, once again, recognize our sponsor bringing us in a broadcast. I forget. Good no, I need to. Hey, what's your sponsor? Your business. Dave, you gotta, you gotta get it from will you? 70 to 50. Dave's junk removal, is that right? Dave's junk removal? Dave's junk removal? Yeah. Isn't this stupid radio folks? Dave's junk removal? Is that what you call it? Yeah, yeah. It's Bremerton. It's Bremerton junk removal. Hey. Bremerton junk removal. Hey. I come with a long I'll have to have him send me an email and I'll write a commercial and avoid that next time. But you know, maybe maybe if my brain can remember stuff, I would have had that on top of my brain. Anyways, a 70 to 50. Bremerton junk removal. Don't, you got a water heater in your yard, you got to get rid of you got old wheels from your old car, tires. Yeah, I drive, I've seen, I've driven by a lot of houses. You see some stupid stuff sitting out inside people's houses. Hey, clean up your house, get rid of it. Call Bremerton junk removal. I'll, I'll do it for you. Offers a foul call on Lake Stevens. Bryson Wheat. Pine cone pile, you know, I, when I blow up, I blow the yard and they all blow into one spot. No, they came up, no, they do an excellent job. Just blow in somebody else's yard. Let them do the work. Okay. Tucker for three. <laughs> Gotta make wise choices. Bull roll pull down the rebound, save it out to Clega. Go rainbow three. And goes up, oh, it comes down, it's to the rim and off. Under a minute to go. 20 point lead by Lake Stevens. Driving in is Pierpoint. And he offers the foul on Pierpoint. Well, Pierpoint making some impact on the scoreboard sheet. He didn't get a point out of a back end of a free throw. And now he's got a foul in the books. Always good to be in the books. Bruce reminds me, stay in school. That's right. Hey, Tucker hangs in the air and gets one to drop. Hey, 
at 30 seconds left. Mercifully for the Bourbon tonight. Just get past underneath, jabbed away. Subbing it was Gosser. Fires a point, and a shot inside, and going after Logan Case. To score, he gets in the books as well. 32 to 53. Yeah, I would say so. Hey, what's the deal for you from here? We'll, uh, we'll end uh, the broadcast here momentarily on video and audio, and then we'll, we'll come back for our post-game interview. And, uh, boy, it's hard to pick between Adams and Iman, but we think we're going to go with Iman tonight as our 38 from Lake Stevens, your final score. 72 to 53. Let's go quickly go through the scoring. Seven points for Predator. 3, 5, 7, 9, 10, 12, 14, 16 points. For Adams, 2, 4, 6, 8, 11, 13, 16, 19, 21 points for Tyson Neiman. For McFerrin, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 points for him. Two points for Case, four points for Redford, four points for Gosser, two, four points for Mackay Hunter, one for Brody Pierpoint. For tonight, Tucker, 3, 5, 7, 9, 10, 13, 15, 17, 21 points. For Tucker, 3, 6, 8, 10, 11, 13. We're going to get um, number... One, Marshall Adams will be Marshall Adams will be our player of the game. Okay. Okay. That'll do it for me.